Oh, a dark and stormy night. It's times like these I remember the day when Ben took down Beergax and Kevin was just a bad guy. What's going on everyone? Chris here from Carlton Gaming and welcome back to more Ben 10 Alien Force Vilgax Attacks. Where we last left off, we arrived here on the Cephalonis 4, Brainstorm's Planet, and take a look at exploring this place a little more. Getting to know the place, you know? This time, we're going to step forth and see what our unexpected visitor or unexpected enemy is waiting for us. And hopefully I said my word choice right, because I don't think I did. Carlton and gaming tradition, everybody. But before we do that, there's a couple things that I want to mention. I went back to the other place where uh, where we missed that plumber's badge in that secret door. And during that time, uh, I was able to get Big Chill's Ice Storm. But because of what happened la last episode when I accidentally pressed uh, the arrow while also getting Spider Monkey's combo, for some reason, I can't get yellow orbs anymore, which usually happens when you get all the upgrades at this point but here it doesn't make any sense because i still need to get earthquake on humongousaur i pretty much got every upgrade i pretty much got every move combo except humongousaur so yeah it's kind of weird that i got every move except earthquake i don't get it if this keeps happening even when i turn off and on the game it still does that so Hopefully, hopefully this won't happen as we continue the adventure, but if it does, I'll have to find a way around it. But let's not dwell on that now. We need to make sure we prepare ourselves for the road ahead. And I say we should do that right now. Let's go forth. And as we, got, and as we go in, it's kind of getting to be the same, but hopefully... I think Ben is able to dodge these lasers easily. We are missing a plumber's badge, of course. And technically, at this point, we went all, all, uh, we went over every alien that we could. Um, what, what? Wait, we're doing another one? Is this another one of these? This is not the same. Oh, I remember this now. Oh wait, wait, where's the point of? Wait, do we, do we, do I gotta do brainstorm again? That can't be right, right? It says I'm in the right place according to the point of interest. It does look the same though. Can I activate this again? No, I cannot. Oh, I remember this. In order, to, in order to keep going, we basically went back the way we came. So we were back at the beginning in some way. But we have to go back. I actually want to switch to Cannonball because, again, I really think this is too funny to do. And the tram will move. And sometimes... See, did you see that? He, like, tiptoed a little bit. I didn't even move the control stick. I remember he could do this. I remember... Okay, yeah. Okay, so the control stick is kind of moving the tram. I I know sometimes he can just automatically... Look, I'm letting go of the control stick. The control stick is let go. He is walking by himself. He's walking like he must step to it. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just too funny. I had to do that. It's just too funny where I just let go of the control stick and he just walks tiptoe on his own. I'm sorry. I just... I had to do that. Oh, man. I remember this room. Um... Well, I know how to take care of you guys. I'm sorry. I am literally going to spam Super, Super Ball out of my ears because this is... A, I'm sorry. This is a really good move. I also wanted to mention, because I probably mentioned it um, at, uh, last episode, but uh, Cannon... I've heard so many... i am not... Why do I keep saying that? Uh, Cannonball is on the F tier for some reason, on the bottom tier because of his big hitbox. But I don't think the big, I don't even think having a big hitbox should matter much because like, yeah, you have a big hitbox, but it's not going to matter because it really just depends on how, um, how much fast you're able to get the moves off. I don't feel like that's the way to judge. I don't think you should judge based on your hitbox. Yeah, I feel like you should ba base your judgment on like how fast you can get your moves off. Because it's more offensive base than defensive base. I mean, yeah, he has a couple defensive bases with, like, Big Chill and stuff with his ghost move, uh, with his uh, shield move. But honestly, I don't think it should be based off of... of um, I don't think it should be based off uh, of uh, Hitbox. I think it should be actually based off of uh, how fast you can get your moves off. And here, whatever you do, don't go to the one on the right. 
Instead, you want to take the left one. Because there's our plumber's badge. Now we got our energy upgrade shackle released. There you go. We've gotten every plumber badge here, and I thought I got uh, made it to the other side. How far am I back now? How far? Okay, back here. All right, see you guys in. Uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, back here again. Uh, let's try this again, people. Fire shot, fire shot. There we go. Uh, jump, get the badge, as usual. I really wish they would just save once you get it up. Wow. Look at that tower. That's... Okay, this is weird. Uh, I know I, it's probably just... I, I know it's probably because I've just played it, but... Why does that tower make me think of Sonic Frontiers? <laughs> I'm sorry, that just makes me... It's just, it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like a huge version of the of the towers. It's just it's just funny that way. Uh, there we Whoa, what the... Uh, I was trying to press C as I... Wow. Um, was I supposed to go on the left one? I don't know. That fire shot just felt... Well, just looked a little too far. That was funny how I faced at the bottom of the stage. Um, be right back once more. Oh, wow. I just got rid of all the enemies with one thunderclap. Good job, you monkasaur. Okay. Collect the plumber's badge again. And let's see if I can actually make it over there. I don't think I can. Let's see. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I thought for some reason I couldn't make that. That's why I went to the one on the right. All right, we're cool. We're cool. All right, let's head over. Oh, hello, guys. I hear you want to get a beating up to. Or what? what is with me not doing my sentences right? I was trying to say, like, I heard you're you're looking for a beat up. Like, why couldn't I just say that? I'm not, I guess I'm not really as threatening, which is fair. I'm not really much of a threatening guy. I, I, you know, it is what it is. All right, uh, kick some butt, kick some butt. I'm used, I'm used up a lot of my Undertrix power. Yeah, I'm using, I'm getting a lot of white orbs, which is very, very weird. I, goodness. Yeah, it's like, I, I have one move left. I never had this happen to me before, FYI, so. I'm hoping I didn't glitch something. Maybe whenever we get further into the story, like whenever we move on, uh, whenever when we move further on to the story, hopefully that will fix things. But I doubt it will. I I, I doubt it won't be that bad. Oh wow, I'm missing one. Oh, laser drum. Ooh, I remember this. Okay, Terradino has its moments, but. This is actually pretty good. Like, I still like Terradino, but this is pretty good. What we do is that we gotta switch to Big Chill and hold the glide button, and we use these vents. Uh, actually, the, this was actually in the one of the Terradino levels. So yeah, really nice. Let me turn the camera. Glide. Use the vents. Glide. This is really cool. Just be careful not to get off the vent too early, otherwise you're not gonna get your trajectory right. Uh, okay, so now we switch to your Mungasaur. And then interact with this. That was easy. And then switch to Brainstorm. Man, um, Azmuth has been telling us not to make so many quick changes in a row, but when you have objectives that, spe that's, that specify to one alien, you kinda can't help it, so. Sorry, Azmuth, for ruining your device more. Um, it's just that duty calls up. I just let go of the shield button, and I'm still doing it in the cutscene. That's funny. All right. And now we're going back to Big Chill. Yeah, we're not really following Azmuth's orders, are we? Not, not really. Uh, not exact. I mean, we're not exactly following orders, but, I mean, that's the only way we can do these things. Um, oh, I remember these. So these uh, make the platform. What is what is that up there? Is that also a platform too? If it is, I don't think it'll, it'll, it'll eat anything because we got all the badges, so I don't really think that's really necessary. Uh, I'm gonna wait till these drop. OK. 
Okay, turn here. Yeah, Big Chill's glide can help. I think Spire Monkey's also help too because his jump is pretty powerful as well. Wow, I can't even, wow, I can't even like freeze him. Uh, I think I'm, a, I'm, I think their special attacks won't hurt me. I think I can only work on physical. And wow, they're really, you know what? I haven't used Dice Storm. What was wrong with me? Oh yeah, I remember this too. Uh, eat this. And uh, I have a feeling the platforms are going to change up on me by the time I make it to the last one. Yep, it does. Well, what does Big Chill's uh, scream sounds like? Wow, that sounds like he's suffocating on... A, that sounds like, like someone's... That sounds like the Darth Vader choke. The Darth Vader choke. Which is... Uh, Weird that I'm referencing that because um, I hope I don't get too many haters but, uh, hating on me, but I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars. I know, I'm lame. You can tell me that I have no sense of dignity or sense of life or anything, but I don't know. The Star Wars was okay. I didn't, I don't love it, but I don't, I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, it's just, it just never, it just really never caught to me as a franchise. It's just. It's weird. I don't know. I, I, I want to try. Maybe I might try watching the uh, the movies again. But I just remember, like, falling asleep a couple of times. Or there was one time where I watched it, like, when I was, um, like, when they were showing off. Um, it's kind of weird. Like, I go to, um, I don't know if you've ever, guys have ever Best Buy. But there are, times, there are some times where they show off movies at, um, at the TV section of Best Buy. And they would show, um, and they would show that. And they would show a couple of scenes of like Star Wars one. I was like, I don't know, 10 or 12 or something like that. And then after like maybe like five or 10 minutes or so, I just kind of wanted to go somewhere else. So yeah, sorry about that. I just, I just, I, it just, it just never latched on to me. I, I get why it's a popular franchise. It just never latched on to me in my opinion. Oh, this. Uh, uh, okay, it's not as bad, but it's like. We still have to use these blocks as your mangas are. Okay. Not all of these blocks are bad. It's just, every time I have to do this, it just reminds me of freaking Terradino. It's just, I don't like these. And, uh, it's just, oh god. The, don't know why, I thought I would duck that. Guess not. How far am I back? Oh, back here. Okay, never mind. Don't have to make a cut. But, yeah, I don't like. Uh, it's just a lot of the block, pu block puzzles ne the um, right now and uh, throughout the rest of the journey is going to be fine. It's just that, like I said, it just brings me back nightmares of Terradino. It's just, uh, I don't I don't like it. Let me turn back to bed just so I can walk under here. And then transform back. See, the, the, the way... Um, what was I going to say? See, the ability of, of being Ben actually comes in useful. Guess Azmuth has taught us after, after all. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm, it's weird. It didn't look like it hit the target, but it kind of did. Um, I want to check somewhere else. I think there's another puzzle like this. No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, Where is it? I'm looking for... Let's see. Ah, here we go. Let's switch to Big Chill. And then, load on up. I just realized, I, I actually just realized something. Let me see if I can turn the camera around. Doesn't Big Chill like have antenna or something? Oh wait, like like actual antenna on his head, as far as I remember, or maybe those two cloth things behind him are supposed to be it, but I don't know, maybe it's been a while since I've watched Alien Force, but for some reason I thought Big Chill would actually have antenna on his head. Kinda weird. I, I actually, um, I actually know a per person, I hope they won't mind if I tell this story, but I've actually uh, know a person who had like a Big Chill action figure and it actually didn't like have like, I, I was like, hmm, doesn't it supposed to have antenna? It's like, I, I, and, and they're like, I guess so. I guess that means he's bald. And we were making the SpongeBob Bob, the SpongeBob bald joke. Um, oops, my bad. 
didn't mean to do that. The SpongeBob bald joke from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. The bald, bald. I've actually referenced that in my uh, Mario 64 uh, LP. <laughs> I can't help it. It was, it was, it was fun. I, I like that one. Why did I switch to Cannonball? Uh, let's switch to Brainstorm. And then contact with. Now. What, kind of, what I kind of like about this is that you can be very precise with the laser beam, which is really cool. Then there's more vents, and the, I let go of the C button, and the electricity was still going until the cutscene stopped. I guess that's how I, I guess that's just think. What is it with me hitting these transformations like, a, or like one early? There we go. Okay, do that. Let's glide over here. And then look here. All right, please do not flip up on me. Oh, it almost did. It almost did. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like these contraptions. I think they're really cool. Like, again, I feel like Teradino has better stuff. Of course, it has one of the worst things in the game, but th this is still good. This is still good. I still like this. Uh, I think there's nowhere else to go but here, so yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah. Uh,. I feel like we're getting deja vu here. Like, this looks a lot of the same. Time for Ice Storm. Um, some reason that hit it. Uh, let me do Ice Spike. There we go. Ice Spike. Yeah, that's easy to get off. Just like Cannon Bolt Super Ball. Uh, Ice Spike. Goodbye. And, oh gosh. Uh, I should probably wait. It's probably gonna be a while and these platforms do change into um, different ways like for example yeah that I don't think I can can I make my way up that uh, I'm not gonna no it just it changes way too fast not gonna risk it uh, let's go up here honestly thought honestly thought I had to make a cut but no, I'm good no what 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 okay I wouldn't make that platform like I went on time. I went on time. That's bull. I thought I went on time. That is so dumb. The lack of wind speed is actually not good. That is so stupid. Uh, be right back. Oh god. No. That was me being stupid. Now for real, be right back. Decided to switch to Spider Monkey because while Big Chill is good, and he's not really that fast. Spider, Spider Monkey is very agile, so I feel like this would be better. Yeah, yeah, Spider Monkey's the best jumping. I think Spider Monkey probably has like the best jump out of everyone else. There's some of the jumps are just slow. Even Cannonball has one jump, but even then can be kind of slow sometimes. Uh. I guess it's time for me to switch to Brainstorm. I mean, this is Brainstorm Planet. What else are they able to do? Oh, I remember this. This is going to be a tough one. I think I do this. Ah, actually, it's not so tough. Just hit the edges and then hit the corners. Pretty simple. Wow, I didn't think I would do that well. I was a little... Oh, there's another one. Um, Same diff, I guess. This and this and this. Yeah, same diff. Um, I honestly thought I wouldn't do well with this, but now I'm doing pretty well. Okay, you gave us an easy one? Yeah, you give us an easy one. That's weird. But uh, yeah, I didn't think it would go that fast, honestly. I think I know where this is about to lead. I think I know where this is about to lead. Uh, we have another tram opening. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch back to Ben. Um, uh, let's go through here. Um, maybe I should go back to Cannonball, because, yeah, you know what? He's fast, and all, not only that, I want to see his tiptoe animation in the tram again. Uh, wait, am I going the right way? Oh, I am going the right way, technically. Um, well, for once, we actually get golden orbs that we can actually get, because apparently it wouldn't let us, so... Maybe this... Well, can it give it to us? That's the question. It doesn't look like it can. I know it's just there for show, but... 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's giving it to me, even though I'm trying. Yeah, it's not giving it to me. That's really weird. Again, I hope this is not a whole game glitch thing. It's kind of worrying me, to be honest. It's too bad all these golden orbs go in the waste. I, I really hope that doesn't happen to, in, on where we're going next. But anyways, uh, got to watch out for this. So we're basically going back to the way we came. So for that being said, um, since we're going into a new destination. Oh, I was going to make a cut. So never mind. We're good. We're good. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. We were just go backtracking right now. Um, so now... Actually, what does Big Chill's walking animation look like? Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of looks like he's doing a moonwalk. Let's let's stick with Big Chill for a bit. Can, can can you do the can you do the cool moonwalk, Big Chill? No. Is it here? Sometimes it does that. Yeah, look, he's walking. He's walking in slow mo. That was so cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh man, that it's like he was almost like. Walking in slow mo, that's kind of funny. <laughs> ah, man, that's that's hilarious. Anyways, n enough fun and games. Let's step off because, believe it or not, we're about to arrive at our final destination. Ben Tennyson, my old friend. You have got to be kidding me. Surprised to see me here? How is your dear cousin, the lovely Gwen? Don't make me do this to you, Michael. Michael Morningstar is no more. You know me as Darkstar. Our old nemesis, Darkstar, or Michael Morningstar, whoever you want to call it. I guess he wants us to call him Darkstar. Uh, starting off, he has, two, he has two ways of attacking. He does actually technically three ways. Um, you were you were gonna say something, Michael? Whatever. He has three ways of attacking. He has th physical attacks. He has also have an area of effect move that can sap you. As far as I know, what am I doing? Why am I running around? And then he also has a rage attack that can sap your health. So be careful. This guy does not play. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't sap your health, but it does stun you. Oops. So watch out. Oh no. Ah, okay. Yeah, I heard Goop is kind of helpful. I'm going to get out of the way. Okay, this is not helping. Uh, I've heard Goop can be helpful in this situation, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Um, you do have some health canisters to help you out. I, You know what? As much as I want to stick with Goop, that's not what I was trying to do. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to stick with Cannonbolt. Super Ball. Or not. Okay, maybe Goop was the better option. Boom. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe Cannibal wasn't the good I The best idea. Ben, Ben, Ben. When will you ever learn? Um, never. Oh, actually, I want to know when will you ever speak? Because you kept stuttering a lot of the time. Yeah, as you can see, my, my Super Bowl did get stopped by his, uh, his area of effect. So maybe if... Kind of using Cannonball for boss battles probably might not be the best idea. I'm going to try, try using uh, Goop. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, got away from his ray. Let me... Ben, ben, ben. When will you ever learn? Will you just stop with that? Is that the only voice clip you have? It's kind of weird. Let's do this. I was hoping I would get something else. Uh, back up. Can I do some other than Apple uh, Acidos? Uh, let's do Puzzle Smack. There we go. Probably should have been that. Oh, his next face. You can see his mask is off. He'll get. That's pretty much it. That's his only second phase. It's kind of dumb, but oh no 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 no! Wow, I probably shouldn't be making fun of him. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't be making fun. Oh God! Wow. His bald head while charging at me uh, is kind of creepy. Okay, turn around. I forgot I have my point of interest for a reason. Avoid the beam. Puddle smack. I uh, thought that would do more damage. Guess not. Uh, okay. No, God, get out of the way. No, 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 no. 
Oh, jeez. I'm kind of running out. Yeah, this guy is no threat. This guy is no pushover. I wouldn't be surprised if, if this was your tough time uh, first time. Because I think I remember he... It was a definitely a tough opponent on my first playthrough. Okay. Uh, puddle smack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. When he saps your, when he saps your health, it, it actually fuels his. So he basically can absorb your health and heal him. So be very, very, very careful. If you can, try to get away from him. Cause that, although, he can still use that range, that, that sapping attack, even when you're close. So be very careful. Be very careful. Okay, that actually did a lot of damage with Cooper Shot. Okay. Oh, uh, I gotta get out of here. Uh, how many, how many canisters do I have? Oh God, how much? Oh no, did I use up all the canisters? Oh great, oh God. I'm a little nervous. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, I'm very nervous right now. Uh, Cooper Shot. Uh, oh, okay, I got hit. I just need one more hit. I just need one more hit. Just need one more hit, Cooper Shot! You may have won this round, Ben, but I'll be back. But not sometime soon. Oh, that was close. I honestly thought I was going to be screwed. But I'm good. There's the energy core. Let's destroy it once and for all. Tennyson! Over here! Ben! Grandpa Max? I don't know how secure these messages are to you, Ben. I suspect my transmissions are being intercepted. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to be in contact with you. But you need to know this. Plumber Intel has it that the very last place in the known universe where one of these energy cores Vilgax is searching for can be found is Anerfatos. <gasps> What's Anerfatos again? Dude, you can't go there. You'll never get out alive. Why? What kind of planet is it? It's not exactly a planet. Yeah, it's more like an alternate dimension. That doesn't sound so bad. It's where Ghost Freak is from? Oh, that is bad. That Tennyson. It's Vilgax. I know you are attempting to thwart me, but it won't work. I am on to you, and I will beat you to the remaining energy core. I dare you to brave the dangers of Anna Fatos. If you can even find your way there, that is. <laughs> Take a right where I told you to back there? Yes. Don't be a backseat driver. I'm only trying to help. Vilgax was right. We're never going to find our way to Anorphatos. I thought you said it wasn't a regular planet. It's interdimensional. Too bad none of us happen to be able to travel between dimensions. <laughs> Grandma? Kiddos, look at you two. My, how you've grown. You never call. You never write. What are you doing here, Grandma? Why, your Grandpa Max asked me to help you get to Anarfatos, of course. Not just anybody can go there. It helps to be an energy being. And away we go! <laughs> Whoa. Grandma? What's happening to us? 
Interdimensional space war. Nice. I can't see you guys anymore! Me neither! Don't get separated! Too late. Good luck, kiddos.